Hi everyone, my name is Christine Marie and I am always here with these videos to support awareness and utility of the magic of menstruation, of the power of shifting and, and being in our feminine energy power so that we can enjoy the balance that all beings were meant to experience. We live in a masculine energy biased world created by masculine energy biased beings that is fire and wind. That is an energy that must do to be known. In feminine energy power, being earth and water, being is to be known. Today, my topic is a little off center because it is my duty as an American citizen to speak up. It is my duty as someone who works with beings who are physiologically set up to channel feminine energy power more easily than those who are not born with certain, certain organs that facilitate menstruation. As someone who works with, who is and who works with this population, it is my responsibility to speak up. Everything I have, the work that I get to do and the breakthroughs that I get to experience on group and individual scale, z scales with the people I work with, they all became possible. The research became possible, the conversation, the rhetoric, the right to see the magic of our menstruation, the right to feel ourselves as beings who menstruate and to, and to walk powerfully with our heads held high and to express, even when I'm not in pain, I have a right to accommodate my body's process. I have a right to learn and to channel and to bring from within to without the things that I am meant to bring to this world. All of that, all of that conversation could only start with the woman's right to choose with the United States government underscoring the right to liberty and to the pursuit of happiness. The right to liberty. Liberty is choice. And everybody, religious or not, has a right to their decision, to how they choose to live their life. And it is not the government's place to enforce a religious belief on those who do not ascribe to that religion. A lot of my work, about 20% of it, includes messaging around birth control. And I say things like, don't even get me started on birth control. And that's because many people go on birth control to treat problems that therapy, coaching, uncovering, discovering, discarding beliefs that no longer serve and behavior that no longer serves. People, instead of treating it, they suppress it by going on birth control and quieting the screams that their body is giving. By me advocating that people listen to their bodies and hear by not using birth control, I am advocating that they hear so that they can be empowered. By no means do I advocate against birth control for the purposes of birth control. I just think that very similar to doctors who prescribe surgery when physical therapy could also solve the problem. This is something that doesn't need that the, where the 
birth control and over prescribing it is where the medicine is more harmful than the symptoms, than the problem. At the same time, someone who suffers from cramps, a lifelong cramp sufferer, a lifelong volatile PMS experiencer, I get it. You don't want to have pain. And so if you could just take this one pill and be regular, regular, and override it, then, then everything's fine. The only thing is that you're cutting yourself off in order to exist in the world, in order to exist in your idea of what the world is wanting from you. And you're cutting off the discovery, you're cutting off the message, the service, the, your unique, the thing that will help you light up in your unique way. You're cutting that off in favor of not having pain. That said, birth control also exists for birth control because we have a right to live our wild, precious, wonderful life. We have a right to live our life where we don't have sex, but we want to be safe from something that could happen that could endanger our lives. I can't account for all of the reasons why birth control is useful. I only advocate for where it is not helpful. So because I offer a solution that is helpful and empowering and I believe will be part of what shifts us into the next phases of society, a, a world where beings, we are moving in balance with ourselves, where our masculine energy is balanced with our feminine energy, like the yin and the yang, the yin and the yang. And so I use this video today. And even though today my following is small, I want this to be recorded in history that I never want to be misunderstood. Everything that I have, everything that I get to freely talk about, liberties and rights that I get to enjoy exist because of that law, excuse me, because of that ruling, because of the ruling that we all, all beings, have a right to choice. All beings have a right to choice. I live in Germany. I am from North Carolina and lived in North Carolina when we had 12 years of democratic governor, of, of democratic, as of a governor who was democratic. Then I moved to Massachusetts for university. Then I moved to New York City. Then I moved to Los Angeles and stayed there for 13 years. I happen to have lived the privileged life of never existing in a world where I was not seen as equal. And I don't think actually most Republicans agree with this either. Apparently it's a two thirds poll, two thirds of the, of Americans do not agree with this, do believe in a woman's right to choose, excuse me, a person's right to choose, do believe in that. And yet these states, especially those with the enforcement and the trigger laws who are pushing, who are now pro-life and there is an abortion is now illegal and a criminal offense. I, I've never existed in a world where, where those people have any sway over me. I've never pled allegiance to their flag. So I don't know how deeply this is affecting. I do know that I am so grateful. I am so grateful that this law exists. And I know that I have a voice. I know that I have time and I have money to help contribute to the change. So no more complaining, but yes, yes to spreading this awareness. There is power in being. There is power in acknowledging who we are and what we have and how we show up in this world. Many of us have a uterus, an ovary, like me. Most people have two. 
And we, this, this tells us, it gives us clues as to how we can be in the world, how we can be best ourselves, be our best selves and show up fully and show up in our power. Let's make this shift and change the world on our terms. And for many of us, let's find out what our terms are because we're innately born to, to make change, but it doesn't have to look like this. There are other ways. Find yours, but show up and shift this in the way that is most effective to you. With immense gratitude, I wish you joy, ease, space, and grace. Let this be the wake up call that it is. And let's continue in the shift. Let's not hang up the phone, eschew, consciously ignore what's happening any longer. <laughs>